It started at a young age, in the classroom. I remember having this classmate, a white kid that would pick on me every now and then. I never used to let it bother me much. I'd always just stay to myself. But one day, I got tired of it. Punishing black children is as old as racism itself. The unconscious and conscious racism that black Americans see and feel every day is also present in school. Study after study shows that white children who do the same infraction will get less of a penalty. 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 I figured since he was able to go back to class that I'd be able to do the same. But that wasn't the case. Because of that suspension, I struggled to catch up with my work and went from being a star student to being labeled as a troublemaker. But that's not where it ended. In fact, it only got worse. Ten years later and not one thing has changed. One night I was at a party. Yeah, some of the others were drinking and smoking, you know, getting high, of course. But I wasn't interested. All of a sudden, the cops pull up. They find out someone was in possession of marijuana with the intent to sell. They didn't know who, so they randomly chose the suspect. Me. Uniformly, it is found that youth of color are more frequently being prosecuted as adults and sentenced more harshly when they are. The significant number of kids in New Orleans that are getting prosecuted as adults is a reflection of our justice system's opinion of young black men in New Orleans and that their lives are not worth saving. The bottom line is that it's not safe for kids to be in adult prisons. A lot of evidence shows that they are at a significantly higher risk for sexual assault. Kids that are in jail pre-trial are as entitled to an education as any kid out in the community. So it's mandated that they be provided one, and yet most jails don't have sufficient educational programming. And they are at increased risk of suicide. We've seen that here. We just had a suicide in the jail of a 15-year-old um, last year, last year, last year, last year. I think that people do understand that kids should be given a second chance and that kids have the ability to change and grow, but I think there is still a very pervasive feeling that when you've done something to harm someone, you should pay for it. You should pay for it. You should pay for it.